Welcome back. For a quarter century now, she has had the words Ward 6 on her business card. Quiet and consistent, Jackie Sullivan is the longest serving member on the Bakersfield City Council, 25 years, comprising six and a half terms. Now, Sullivan has announced she will step away at year's end, content with her legacy of service, a legacy that includes a profoundly personal redirection that most of her constituents probably don't know about. 25 years ago, Sullivan gave her very first interview as an elected official to a newspaper reporter by the name of Robert Price. <laughs> this week, she sat down on the same cool patio to take stock of things with that same reporter, 17's Robert Price, who files this report. 30 years ago, Jackie Sullivan was a hardworking Bakersfield realtor, the mother of three girls and a boy, and a card-carrying member of Bakersfield's thriving Republican Party. Things changed when a pending council vacancy created a need within the local Republican apparatus for a candidate, someone faithful to party ideals, who was willing to do the work to get elected and willing afterward to learn on the job. Among the possible candidates the GOP Central Committee contacted was Jackie Sullivan, who promptly put the idea out of her mind. Sure, thanks. I'll, I'll think about it. Didn't. Yeah, it was gone. She had other things to think about. Things like her daughter Joyce. You know, she passed away from AIDS. And she was one of the first young women to, to get infected. Just a bizarre, you know. She, Julie won a trip for two to Hawaii. Of course, took Joyce. And Joyce was infected on that trip. Both invi invited to an after-party party. And Julie, Joyce was a game for everything. And Julie went back to the room. Joyce went, spent the night. And I can remember what the first time I heard about AIDS, um, you know, I thought it was the, the, a, a virus um, that's, come, that's showing up in, in San Francisco, in the San Francisco area um, among the gay community. Joyce's death was devastating, and it plunged Sullivan into a deep depression. It didn't occur to her at first that public service of the type she was being offered might give her a different focus. That is, not until Kevin McCarthy, then a top aide to Congressman Bill Thomas, made a follow-up call urging her to reconsider. This was God's gift to me. Because it really, it really saved my life. Because I, I was just, like I say, I wasn't going any place. Didn't. Sullivan joined a city council that already had three women giving Bakersfield its first, last, and only female city council majority. Among the doors public service opened to her was the door to activism, an unusual sort of activism for an older, reserved, conservative woman. Sullivan became an outspoken advocate for AIDS treatment and understanding. I was just determined to have, have her life and her passing and the reason for passing stand for something, you know, do some, do some good. And, it, and we used it for... for awareness and education. And Sullivan's AIDS activism created some unlikely alliances, none perhaps more so than Audrey Chavez, founder of Bakersfield's AIDS Project. Chavez's brother Ricky had died of AIDS, and that tragic shared story created a sort of sisterhood. That we were brought together um, through uh, AIDS, through losing two beautiful individuals um, to this virus, and during a time that nobody wanted to deal with HIV, nobody, we, I don't even think it was called HIV, I believe that during that time period um, there was a, a major amount of stigma involved. And so Jackie and I and her mom and family met uh, through one of our first fundraisers for Bakersfield's AIDS Project. And um, we really developed a connection, I think. With her footing on more solid ground, Sullivan turned to another cause, that of spreading the national motto onto the dais of cities and counties across the United States. She intends to keep pushing the motto, In God We Trust, into every corner of the country. Once upon a time, some might have considered AIDS activism to be an awkward fit with religious activism. But as another very different virus has demonstrated to us, epidemics do not discriminate on the basis of religious or political affiliation. And Jackie Sullivan and her family are undeniable examples. In downtown Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.